Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456 for the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 42 of Let's Do Diablo 3 DLC. Alright, so for this episode, basically I'm gonna try and just finish off the game, like at least beat Malthael and finish the game. I cannot do that. And then if I have any time left, I'm basically gonna just stop for a little bit, and I'll do the rest of the episode, like, next time. I mean, you guys will see it immediately, but I'll... Just me personally, I'll have a break because I think this is like my 11th episode for today. <laughs> and I'm going a little bit overboard, but I haven't really felt like playing in many, many days. And today was the first day that I actually woke up and I was like, all right, I feel like playing a little bit. And then I kind of caught the bug a little bit more and I was like, all right, I'm just going to keep going. So that's what I'm going to do. The Grey Beckons. And I know I shouldn't like push myself like that. Oh, what's the this angel one? I captured, Inarius, is in love with me. I can feel the intensity of his desire. I told him that we must liberate the world stone, and then we can be together. We will create something never imagined by those mired in the eternal conflict. A new world. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know I shouldn't push myself like that, but I really want to play. The souls swirl and writhe. I now know the truth of mortals. All paths lead to death. Whatever their struggles, whatever their triumphs, they die. That I cannot do wisdom. that. Whatever their struggles, whatever their triumphs, they die. That is wisdom, I think is what he said. Those who follow us are strong in purpose and conviction, but we are only few. Yet if we can obtain the power of the world stone, it will be enough. We will scale the wind shear slope, steal into the heart of the fortress, and be gone before anyone notices the stone's disappearance. Okay, so... Oh, I did... Oh, nice. <laughs> It's just a big square. I, I really thought, like, I kept finding, like, new ways to go. The souls of man show their potential for greatness. They can stand for good like any angel in heaven. Or they can enact evil worthy of the lowest demon of hell. The power no. of such a choice should not rest in the hearts of beings who are here for an instant. <laughs> I think the general gist of what he was saying there is that uh, the the level of good and evil that we can do should not be for someone who can only live for a certain period of time or for, for a small period of time I think is what he was saying um, which way am I going? okay this way here so I'm gonna go this way left and then, yeah, we're pretty much at the end now. What's this? Go, 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 go. Alright, finally gonna finish this. And it took, well, it took like 11, yeah, 11 episodes. Oh, wait, did it? I can't remember if I did a bit of Act 5 last week. Or when, it, when I played it last week. I can't remember. Oh well, I, I, yeah, I think either way I didn't, I don't think Act 5 was as long as I thought it was. I must have a corpse. Taking the whole thing in one hour though, is pretty crazy. All, all of Act 5 in an hour, <laughs> it's crazy. Um, okay, let's grab that one. You know what's cool is that I remember seeing, um, a lot of people started getting interested in Diablo 2 speedrunning like I think a, f a bit recently like maybe like three or four years ago something like that but it got pretty popular I in the past like that. year or two and uh, I love the fact that like Diablo 2 is so popular that <laughs> Blizzard a made a version that was compatible no. with like today's computers I think wasn't it like they released a digital copy or something that made it so it was compatible with today's computers and it's like damn man that's commitment like that's so or not only is that commitment but that's like so cool to see um, that a game was so popular that it could I do, that. do that. I mean, have they done that? I mean, 
that's basically what remasters and remakes are, but I think this this one is slightly different. Grab that. Come on. Kill, 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 kill. Grab this. Another one. The humans cannot be trusted. They are born of an angel and a demon. The demons pervert whatever they touch. The humans are corrupt and are not worthy of the choice between good and evil. Angels and demons do not choose as it should be. All right, so yeah, angels, angels and demons bore children. Um, I missed a little section back there, and it's the tiniest little bit. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna go all the way back there just for that. It's not gonna be a legendary or anything, I don't think. <laughs> I mean, it could always be, but I'm not gonna bother. Oh, I thought that was something. All right, here we go. The final battle with Malthel. Now, because. Maybe I should change my skills a little bit. I mean, Siphon Blood is good. This one can go Skeletal Mage, Dif Gift of Death. And I think that's pretty much all I want, right? Uh, maybe I should change to um, Frenzy instead. And then Decrepify this one. That one. All right, let's try that. <laughs> This should be fun. Do I need to change my passive skills? Hang on. No, I don't want to... There we go. I just want to see if I need to change it, so... That's fine. That's fine. That's good. And that's good. Yeah, let's go like that. How cool does this look? <laughs> Heart of the Fortress. I would like my Bone Spirits to uh, max out first, but... Oh, what's that that I have? Hang on. Oh, your Aspect of Death, your attacks can damage Mouth Ale. They went hard out on that uh, story thing. <laughs> Just gonna wait here for a few more seconds while my fourth Bone Spirit comes back. I don't know if it, like... If it loads in the cutscene, but yeah. Hey, look, I am gonna get to 357. I don't know if I'll get it with Mouth Heal's death, but we'll find out. The Soul Stone is a born sanctuary. The blood of demons will soon be gone from all creation. see my challenges real quick because I want to see if there's anything I can do with him uh, kill Urzael, torment uh, so <laughs> mouth ale Urzael? oh yeah I tried that um, mouth ale without being hit by death fog, drain soul, skull spiral, soul nova or soul sweep that's a whole bunch of stuff so that's probably not going to happen let's try and I'm already I think that's already gone Okay, summon skeletal mages like crazy. I need essence. Now I'll gain essence back very quickly. And now attack, 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 attack. Summon skeletal mages like crazy. <laughs> and now you should go down. One, two, square, square, square. Damn. They're still circling. Hit him. That will not save you. Oh, that's cool. What? Don't tell me you got his health back. I can't even remember this boss fight. Ah, okay. Where did my bone spirits go? This consumes all. Goodbye, you're gonna lose. 
He hit me a lot, but he's dead. What? What? There's... Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? How did I get that? Cheating death. Give me a... Give me a break. <laughs> Alright, I must have not been hit by a specific special attack. I'm happy, but I'm surprised. Legendary. Helm. What did I get this time? Oh, and Ariel's Visage. That's cool. I can't remember what it does. Tax release, a poison over that deals... Decent. Oh, average. Weapon damage is poison to enemies within 10 yards. Yeah, it's okay. Um, it came with some good stuff on it, actually. So, it's pretty good. Probably could have done with something better, but it's okay. Uh, okay. Tyrael. Where is the Black Soul Stone? Malfil destroyed it and used the power within. Then Malfail's death will have released Diablo. He is free. Will have released Diablo. Congratulations, you have killed Malfail. Do you wish to leave the game and return to main menu? E unless I can... No, let's talk to Tyrael. Where is the Black Soul Stone? Malfail consumed oh. it and took Diablo's soul. Then Malfail's death will have released Diablo. He is free. Oh, I see. They're trying to set it up for Diablo 4. <laughs> if they ever do that, I'd be surprised. Alright, let's listen to the final bit. The Nephilim have done the impossible. By conquering death, he had redeemed the angels and saved all mankind. In that moment, with victory at hand, I saw the Nephilim in a new light. He is a hero who can defeat the champions of heaven and hell, and a necromancer who protects the innocent. But within him beats a mortal heart that will one day be tempted to corruption. On that day, will he have the strength to resist? Or will he be our doom? Hmm. Are they setting it up for even more DLC? I'd be surprised if they do. That's pretty cool. You've defeated Diablo 3. More challenges and reward rewards await you in adventure mode. Okay. So, rides Necromancer. I don't care. Blah, 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 blah. Can we screw? Yep. Oops. What did I skip there? <laughs> I feel like I skipped something important. I saw a frame of something. Alright, anyway. Um, let's have a look at something real quick. So, let's say that, that that. No, I want to look at difficulty. Now, here we go. New legendary items become available at level 70, higher legendary drop rate than on previous difficulty. Okay, so they actually do. Alright, that's awesome. I couldn't remember if that was the case, but yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so I'm next time I'm going to show you adventure mode. Uh, select this mode to enable different kinds of gameplay like bounties and Nephilim rifts. Uh, complete a solo greater rift to unlock challenge rifts. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'm going to show you next time And I will show you probably only on Master difficulty. I don't think I'm quite ready for this torment just yet with this character um, But yeah, it'll be cool to show you that next time um, and by next time I mean like basically now but now for now for you not now for me <laughs> uh, Why was there was that really how many I had? Wow. All right, so I've got cheating death and did I get here? Oh yeah, completing Act 5, wasn't it? Yeah. Alright, so I've got one, two, three, four trophies, and I have six to go, is it? I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. Um, so that's easy. That's time consuming. That's easy. Easy. Time consuming. I've got 50% there. Kill your own shadow clone with some milligram during the Diablo counter. And that's it. Okay. Cool. Uh, so I will leave... Oh, look, all the Fallen. But what about my... Wait, are these... 
<laughs> oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> These are the two demon hunters that I used. Slain by unknown. <laughs> I tried um, doing the uh, hardcore with the friend once, and we died twice, I think it was. We died at level 12, and then we died at level 34. <laughs> and then we finally got to the end. Um, we learned our lesson that day. <laughs> Alright then, I will uh, leave it like that, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, so for the rest of this episode, we've got about 10 minutes left. I'm going to show you the another element of the game, and that is Adventure Mode. So if you go into Game Settings and you select here, Adventure Mode, it says select this mode to enable different kinds of gameplay, like ne Bounties and Nephilim Rifts. So you select that, you select an Act. Let's just go with Act 1, we can do all of them. We're going to still be on Master, as I said. Let me just have a look at these. I think I looked at these last time. Yep, okay. Um... I'm going to be on Master because Torment is where it starts to get pretty damn tough and I don't think we're quite ready for that yet. Nearly, nearly. Uh, select Master and why was I not able to select... Oh, okay, yeah. That's it. Okay, so now we're in Adventure Mode Master Act 1. So continue. Stay a while and loot things. That's a reference to Deckard Kane, who says, Stay a while and listen, I believe, in, in Diablo 2. All right. So we've got a whole bunch of new things here in Act 1. We've got Kadala, we've got Auric, we've got Zoltan Cool who's back. I've got Kanai's Cube and Tashun. Now, I don't know what all of these people do, but I know what a uh, few of them do. So let's see if I can go over it. Oh, okay, the Myth the Gem Combiner there and the Enchantress here. Alright, so they made it a little bit more condensed. And you've got your Armory here where you can have different... Um, sets so that you know you can have different classes or not classes but um different setups uh all right so let's see if i can work this out so gadala all right you notice down down there i have 500 uh and those are referred to as blood shards and what she does is she has this she's this vendor she's a uh, blood shard vendor at the top you can see there and she gives um random items completely random items for uh the expense of blood shards so for example if you give her 25 blood shards you can get um a mystery chess piece now the mystery chess piece will either be it can be uh gray white blue yellow uh, uh orange legendary or green legendary uh, and probably even more things that i don't know about <laughs> um and it costs 25 every time you do it now they give you a um maximum there of 25 because increase your maximum blood shot count but okay oh okay that's cool yeah they give you a maximum because they don't want you to have like a million you know blood shards farm a million and just spam i mean that's essentially what they want you to do but they want you to do both like they want you to buy this stuff and and also um participate in nephilim rifts and stuff let's start with adventure mode though first we'll worry about this stuff later I, i'm curious to see what this how this works all right, so yeah, I wish they told me. I'm not really familiar with that, and I thought there would be a way to explain it. There probably is, but I'm not understanding exactly what it is. All right, so to do... Really? Stop walking away. Shut up. <laughs> um, what you do in Adventure Mode is you complete bounties. So as you can see here, uh, Adventure Mode Achievements, I have completed 500 bounties, exactly, because <laughs> that's where I kind of stopped. Uh, this is a, a challenge for completing another 500. Um, these are the full challenges. I almost killed 250,000 monsters in Nephilim Rifts, and I never got to finish a Nephilim Rift within two minutes. That's very difficult. Um, the other thing I wanted to know was, how do you do... So it's not campaign, it's general. Yeah, I don't know what the Darkening of Tristram event is. I don't know where the labyrinth is, but I assume I'm going to find those things soon, hopefully, because I, yeah, I, I don't know. All right, um, so let's figure this out. Oh, it's an 100. Okay, so in Act 1, right, you have five bounties. Kill John Gorham Coffin, kill Braluk Grimlow, the Cursed Court, Skeleton King's there, uh, kill Queen R RNA, and clear the Cave of the Moon Clan. So these are your like quests, right? And if you do them, you get um, 30,712 gold and 4,712,500 experience and a treasure chest. Um, you can also do all the acts here. So you go to World and you can pick Act 2, Act 3, Act 
4 and Act 5. Um, and yeah, each of them have different things to do. So this one actually says Kill Diablo, so that's cool. Um, yeah, this is a pretty good way, and it's quite quick, so let's try Cemetery of the Forsaken. So you teleport there. I don't think I have time to do all the bounties, but yeah. Kill enemies in Defiled Crypt 50. Kill John... When King Leo oh. came to court, he brought many nobles with him. And nobles, oddly enough, want noble crypts. So I showed up with my shovel, thinking to make easy profit by digging a few holes. Ha! <laughs> There's no stopping their demands around here. Now, I eat, sleep, and breathe dirt, it seems. Okay, and I forgot to change my skills back. I want Blood Nova. Yeah, Blood Nova. And I want Siphon Blood, Corpse Lance, Opportunist. Uh, I want that one. And this one. Nope. And that one, Panic Attack. Alright, let's go. So my objective is to kill 50 enemies in the Defiled Crypt and uh, kill John Gorham Coffin. I also had to enter the default crypt, which I've already done. So you just find enemies and you kill them like normal. And it goes up quite quickly because I'm quite powerful. <laughs> At least for this difficulty. Okay. I cannot do that. Nice. 16.4 mil. <laughs> That's another one. Okay, so far so good. There's John Gorham. You can actually see him on the map. Take that, take that, take that. Now, yeah. alright, bounty complete. I actually skipped that a little bit too fast. So now your bounty's complete, you want to move on to the next thing. So in order to do that, you go, you actually can press down, R1, and then pick this one. And you can teleport straight there. You don't even have to go back to town. So you just do that. It gives you a little bit of a loading screen. And then you get here, and now you've got a. Now, what's the next thing? So, we're in Cathedral Level 1. We have to kill 75 enemies a and uh, Relic Grimlow. Meanwhile, I'm still, you know, trying to get. Uh, curse all the enemies or kill 5,000 cursed enemies. Okay, you'll notice that I clicked that Scribe's Left Turn and only money dropped out, not the. Uh, not the book that usually does. That's because... Oh, look, I already found the dude. <laughs> um, that's because I've already got that book. So this still counts... Like, the, the books that you get uh, per character, not on your you entire account. Goodbye. Okay, so that's that. we got five more enemies to kill. Three, two... And done. So the, there's your bounty, it gives you a ton of... It actually gives you more experience than what the full thing gives you. Cursed Court. Let's go. It's actually going a lot quicker than usual. The adventure mode... It, uh, maybe it was because I was playing on too hard a difficulty, I think. Because I'm playing on a bit easier. It's not as bad. Can you crush them? Thank you. Cleanse the Cursed Chest. Okay, so the that Cursed Court, all you have to do is rot. find the Cursed Chest event and clear it. Oh, I got a Paragon level. There we go. 357. And it gave me a point in... I think it's Offense? I don't know, I'll check it in a sec. Uh, core, sorry. And so I'm going to up my Intelligence. And now, the next Paragon level will give me a point in uh, offense, then the next one in defense, and the next one utility. I think that's how it works. And then it will just go around again. Over and over and over. Uh, Alright, so I need to find... Um, what am I looking for? The cursed chest event. Okay, so my guess you is going to be that it's somewhere in this direction. You can see how many enemies there are here. Like, it's quite dense. Um, not all the time, but some of the time. Essence. Wow, did that really do 10.0 mil? Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. I don't like the look of that. Okay, it's good to find these guys as well. One thing I didn't 100% explain, but I thought it was pretty self-explanatory, is when you have, um, when you have like a set piece, which I do, I have the uh, Blackthorns um, necklace and the Blackthorns 
uh, what is it? Pants? In the little menu, I'll show you in a sec. I know I'm running out of time as well. Should be like right on 25 minutes. Alright, here's the cursed chest, so inspect it. Kill 100 enemies to earn a bonus chest. Come on, more. Blow them up, blow them up. There's this really stupid achievement where those like big fat guys that explode, you're supposed to kill like 20 enemies with their explosion and it's like insanely hard and I don't think I've ever been able to do it. I don't know how you're supposed to do it, but yeah, apparently it's possible. Alright, let's see if I can make this. <laughs> Come on. I'm getting there. I actually might still make it. I'm afraid not. Oh, yes, I made it. <laughs> Didn't think I was going to make it there, but I had enough. Okay, cool. So that completes that. We go one and two. Hope for le legendaries. Be disappointed. <laughs> um, damn, I only have two more, but I'm going to go back to New Tristram and just stop. I'll show you the rest next episode. Uh, and I'll quickly show that set thing that I was talking about. So you go into your sets, um, and you go here. So Blackthorn's Battle Gear, so it has Blackthorn's Duncraig Cross, that's the neck piece, and Blackthorn's Jousting Mail, that's the leg piece, and it says, in order to get those abilities there, 250 Vitality and 10% damage to elite enemies, you need two pieces. The next one you need three, and the last one you need four. That's how that works, pretty simple. Um, okay, so I'm going to... Um, uh, end the episode and then next time I'll show you the rest of the bounties for Act 1 and we'll probably move on to Act 2 and the rest. Um, Alright, so I want to thank you all for watching episode 41 of Let's Do the Diablo 3 DLC. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.